My name is Betty Anderson, and my pastor is Bishop Allen G. Porter. Bishop Porter is also working out and very concerned about his diet. And before we started Village Heartbeat, he was a little casual about it. Now he's very conscientious about what he eats and how often he's working out, in spite of the fact that he is now a full-time student, as well as a full-time pastor. And he's a new groom. I've just been married for one year. And he didn't realize how important it was until he heard us talk about Village RB, bring back a report each time we go out for our sessions. And, and he watched us at church work out. And he said, oh my, oh, you all are real serious. You here on time, you dress appropriate, and you be sweating. And I notice all of you bring water. So he said, I need to get serious, and I'm going to join and make sure I do what I'm supposed to be doing. I can't do it with you, but I'll do it separate from you. But I will be conscious of my health, my diet, and all about how long I live and what I do while I'm living. Our church members, they are watching us very closely. They like the FBI as far as watching us eat. And if they see you eating something, they said, is that on your diet plan? Or is that just something you chose to do? You just dropped off the wagon. I said, no, no, this is on my diet plan. I can have something once a week. If I decide to have something sweet, I can have something once a week. But other than that, I do not eat this every day. They said, okay. So then they said, they're watching our clothes size. If you come in and they say, oh, your suit is about to drop off. I said, that's good. I'm good. They said, where you drop from? I said, how many? I said, two suit sizes. They said, wow. Ooh, I need to get in that program with you. The men said, oh, no, y'all too disciplined for me. I don't have all that discipline. And since you're so disciplined, I can't come in this program. But it does require that you're disciplined. We encourage each other on our team and ask them how you're doing for accountability. You good? You all right? Okay, keep going. And the accountability makes you more conscious of what you are going to accomplish at the very end. I am confident and I'm praying that Greater Salem become the winner this year. Last year we were in second place. And if we don't become the winner, we're still winners because all of us have been conscientious. We've been accountable to each other. We have attended all of our nutritional meetings, all of our walking, and we've been focused on the assignment that has been given to us. So we will not be discouraged if we don't win, but I'm expecting Greater Salem to win this year, 2014.